Round one of the Stanley Cup playoffs is one of the most embarrassing performances I have ever seen from a hockey team. The Colorado Avalanche and Rostislav Nastrov took down Drew Doughty and the LA Kings in a 4-0 clean sweep. Literally not even a single game was close. Rusty in the top line came to play. The rest of the team came to play and now we are ready for our second round opponent. I tell you what, the boys are just having fun now. We're sticking to our game plan. We're playing our game game and everything is going perfect but we all know how quickly the script can flip as we take a look around the league we're the only one that won our series four to zero calgary with a chance to end it the blue jackets with a chance to end it we're gonna go ahead and sim through the rest of the first round and find out who our next opponent is and no matter who it is it's gonna be tougher than the la kings there's absolutely no way that it has gone down like this the team that has given us the most trouble throughout the regular season, the best team potentially in the NHL, is the team that we are playing next. That is right. Round number two, this is the biggest matchup that we could have asked for. It is the Winnipeg Jets versus the Colorado Avalanche. Again, if you guys don't remember, the Winnipeg Jets have Johnny Hockey. They have Evgeny Malkin. They have, I have no idea how everything went down over the trade deadline, but they have got the best team skill-wise in the NHL. Oh, and they just barely snuck by. As we take a look at the bracket, 4-3 win over the Dallas Stars. We had the Calgary Flames with a 4-0 win. Edmonton with a 4-1 win. And the West is just an absolute bloodbath. Over on the East, we have the Blue Jackets versus the Senators and Toronto versus Florida. This is actually a very interesting bracket. So we have the Battle of Alberta on the bottom half of the bracket and the matchup of the century on the top. Let's see what goes down. I mean, just look at the top three. 90 overall, Kyle Connor. 90 overall, Johnny Hockey. 90 overall, Hella Buck in net. We look at the two goaltenders. We got Varley on our side. Again, I still don't know what happened to our goaltending situation. He is not a playoff caliber tendy, and we're going up against Hella Buck. This could be really really ugly okay game number one is in ball arena that's the good news and they just barely inch by against the dallas stars i know dallas gave us some trouble in the regular season as well winnipeg though to end the season beat us like three times in a row so we know what we're up against we know who we need to take out of the play and we know what we have to Kleinberg as well dude what is this lineup the winnipeg jets had the craziest off season of all time all right let's just let's just lock down lock down here defense okay uh, kale just decided I'd say give up on the play and give Connor the free puck. Let's go for a free break. All right, Devontae's. Uh, I'm not going to be calling for the puck too much this game. Again, we're going to play nice and smart. Mac. Yep. Boom. Okay, good look. Good first look. We're going to try to find Mac in front again. Yep. Keep on pressuring this tendy. Oh, we went for the dive. Rant. We're buzzing. We're, hey, we're not buzzing. Again, goal of the day. Quick shifts. No penalties. Playing smart. And we, of course, are going to be taking Evgeny Malkin out of the play. I think he's our enemy from the last series. Well, that, what is that? Boom. Wheeler, you want to drop him, buddy? Okay, Wheeler, we're not dropping him, buddy, but keep your head up, all right? Three minutes, coaches short shift in the top line on a day like today, dude, and Kale McCart. Okay, oh, then I'm on. Kale is playing questionable this game. Like, I hate, to, I hate to call him out on it. Obviously, he's our best defender, but he's playing very questionable today, of course. It's Lowry just sneaking by Kale McCarr, back door, untouched. I know I'm playing a little bit low there. I'm trying to sneak down and cover the center position, but... Kale McCarr has got to be there to make a play. Turnover right as we get onto the ice. Let's in the back door right as we get in the D zone. Down one early in this one. I, I, I told you, no matter what team we play against, we know that it's going to be a tougher team than the LA Kings. And it is certainly looking that way right off the rip. Dude, this team is just, I'm telling you, they're so fast. I, they don't have like the bona fide, you know, number one superstar like we do with Nate McKinnon, but they got a good overall team. Let's try to burn by the outside. Rusty with wheels. Rusty. Dude, what is that cross check? He just goes bop right to my head. Bops me right off the puck. First attempt, dude. Their defenders are huge. Their forwards are fast. We are in trouble here. I mean, the thing that we have to... Oh, Nate! Nate McKinnon! How do you do? Takes it himself. And with no help whatsoever, Nathan McKinnon, the superstar that we were talking about, 
somehow wins the draw to himself, pushes forward, splits the D, and buries it on that right side. Nathan McKinnon, that is what we need. Oh, the towels. The towels are rolling. A big goal from Nate Mack. Line number one has not been doing anything, but Nate Mack has. Kyle Connor, go ahead and take a seat. All right, we're starting to pick it up a little bit here, boys. Nice pass there from Kale Rantanen. Okay, Rantanen, good, good effort, good effort. He's taking the hit, trying to make the play. You can't, can't do anything but respect that. Ooh, Kale, hold up. <gasps> Kale, Kale, dude, Kale is absolutely throwing. I'm telling you what, this guy's trying to win Mill Deke in a one-one game, and our defenders are not back. Obviously, the, the defenders, you know, being Kale, should I cover for him? Maybe, but you can't trust Rusty to play any defense. Wheeler. Oh, I just missed a hit. Nice save there, Varley. What a save that was. <sighs> Man, this is getting ugly, dude. Anytime that they have a good opportunity in front, it's going into the back of the net. Wheeler just left completely untouched. I know we were on the long end there of a long shift. You got to get off the ice, but Wheeler left wide open back door and another big mistake from line one and Rostislav Nashrov. Okay, coach is throwing us out here. We have 28 seconds left on the power play. Hookie with a big power play win there on the face off. Hold up. Not, a, not the best shot that we can get there, Hookie. Also not the best shot. Let's get a little set up here, Smitty. Give me that puck. Okay, we're going to do the cut play. Boom. And then you find me. Yep. Good find. I didn't have the shot, but... Oh! The hops on Rusty! Okay, hold up. Looking again. Burgie. Burgie's at the point. Get it over to me, Kale. Good look. Back to Kale. Yep. Yep. Oh, Smitty looks me off and turns the puck over. Worst case scenario. Nice little back trick there from Russ. Let's see if Hook, Hook can win that battle. Hook... You gotta win that battle. Just give us one. Hey, we're not playing bad hockey. We just need a little, little, little bit of energy from the boys. We'll get that over to Burgey. He's on defense right now, so he's not rushing up. Rusty, little spin-o. Tried to, tried to throw the spin-o. Boom! Oh! Streeters! Streeters! Get a shot, dude! Rusty's sitting there in front covering everything. Okay, we are gonna get one last shift this period. 3-19 on the clock, 2-1 game. We are still a little bit low on energy, but that's all right. Rusty, right out of the bench. He's fresh. He's, he's feeling dangerous. Here we go, Lowry. Hey, I'm not going to lie, boys. We are we are missing a lot of big hits this game. <gasps> I was feeling a little windmill. We're going to get Morrissey out of here. Boom. Clean hit on Morrissey. Go ahead and take a seat, buddy. He's injured as well. Minute and a half. Yep, Rusty. Rusty's kind of in quicksand right now. Okay. I mean, we have no energy, but it feels like we're literally skating the slowest I've ever skated. Ran! <gasps> ran and tried to pass that puck. I cannot believe it. On a freebie way, ran and tries to throw it away. We're going to hop off the ice before something bad happens. Seven seconds. One last shot. Three, two, one, and we do survive the period. So two, one, heading into the second intermission. Feels like I feel like we've had some offense, like we've had some pressure, but we are not getting any good, solid shots on net. Whereas Winnipeg, we're just leaving wide open, mid slot, untouched. We flip that around in period number three. It might be a different story. Let's see what we can do. Okay, we got to start taking a little bit of risks here. Obviously, you know we got 20 minutes. We have plenty of game clock. But let's just place nice and slow, Taze. I don't care if you go up. I'll, I'll stay back for you, Taze. Yep. 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 Nice setup. All right. Good, good job, Rusty. They're covering back for Taze. I'm going to throw that puck low. I'm going for a screen. What a save. What a move. <gasps> Rusty. Yep. Another one. Okay. Oh, Rusty's drawing penalties as well. All right. Give me line two out here. Give me Bergy. Give me Hooky. Give me Smitty. Let's go. Johnny Hockey. Take a seat. Okay. Unfortunately, unfortunately, our power play does get to sit here as we are getting shorted on our power play time. 52 seconds, though. We'll take that. We'll take that. I am telling you right off the rip, I'm feeling the face-off cut play. God, I just... Why... Okay. We got to get Bergy on the draw, though. What is coach thinking? We have Bergy at right D instead of taking the face-offs right here. And now we got Devontae's. I don't know what's happening on this thing. Okay, nice win. Here's our cut play. Top left. Another good look there, Rust. Another good look. We got Gerard down low. I'm going to stay up. I'm going to stay up high. Try to get a little D to D. <gasps> ah, clingy. We'll at least get him to... Hey, if you're going to dump the puck down low, you're at least going to pay the price. You know what I mean? We're not giving anybody free dumps here. I'm going to try to cherry pick just a tiny bit here. As, yes, we do get to play. We're going to go a little inside. A little toey. Top left. Boom! Oh my, what is that save? Off the knob mid-split? Time is starting to run out here. We have 11 minutes. We know how good... I mean, even in the dying minutes of the game, we know how good this Winnipeg Jets team is. We know what we have to do. We got to make quicker passes than that. Is that P.K. Subban? What in the world, dude? 
Where did he come from? That is PK. Dude, I'm telling you what, man. I don't know what happened to this team. Let's go. Rusty. Wheels. Hold up. Spinny. We're going to do a little spin-off. A little fake spin-off. Triple fake. Oh! Nice shot, Russ. That's just got to be a goal. So many good chances. What a pass. And we get raw. Oh, dude. We cannot beat Hellebuck with our current stats. I think that's the issue we're looking at. We're going to boom. Another good shot off. Oh! Let's go! We can't beat him with any skill. So we're going to take all the luck that we can get. Rusty booms a clapper from the point. How did Rantan get a stick on that? Roll the replay in slow mo. It looked like Hellebuck just went for the hungry, hungry hippo and threw it in his own net. But I guess Rantan got a stick somewhere on there. Maybe off the skate. I don't know. But Rusty with a booming clapper to get it started. And with six minutes on the clock, we can be the hero. Okay, no goals against. Hey, this, this is what we play for right here. 2-2, two, two, 130. I want a regulation win. No OT, no OT. No OT. You just gotta manifest it. All right, Rusty. Let's go. We're gonna. Nice look there, Rust. Hold up here, McKinnon. Me. I got boomed. I might be out of the game. Nope. We're still alive. Rantanen. Nice cut. Try to go for the wrap. Jeez. He's he's looking for it. Ehlers, go ahead. There is no. We're going. We're going for the headlock here. Yep. Ah. Nice dodge. We're going for the dodge grab. Dodge grab. Yep. Dodge grab. Dodge grab. Boom. 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 We can't lose this fight. We have no bar left. This is it. Everything on the line. And Rusty has lost his first fight of the season. After a clean hit, we are forced off the ice. We wanted to be the hero. And instead, we are sitting in the box watching. This is about the worst case. We just traded Rostislav Nastrov for Morrissey. A one-for-one -one trade for the next 42 seconds and OT. Hey, we're, we're going to watch the rest of this here. Obviously, we don't have Rusty out there, but that's okay. Okay, 28 seconds on the clock. Boom, big hit. Nice nice and clean hit there. We got Kale McCarr on the puck. I can't see because the fans are in the way. Hellebuck with a diving desperation save. 10 seconds left coming the other way. Not like this. They keep it in the zone. Five, three, two, one, and that's going to do it. Okay, we do survive. We survive our first minute there. We still need four minutes here in OT to get Rusty back on the ice. And I got a bad feeling that that's not going to happen. 2-2, two, two, headed to OT. Our first OT of the Stanley Cup playoffs against our absolute rivals in the Winnipeg Jets. It all comes down to this. Will Rusty see the ice again? Find out. Okay, four minutes. Will we survive four <gasps> Boom! The Colorado Avalanche take it. And just three minutes into OT, Colorado takes the ice in celebration. Dude, I wanted that to be rusty so bad. But you know what? We will take it. A win is a win. As Rusty leaves the box to celebrate with his teammates. And it is Rantanen with a big GWG. An absolute battle of a game. Back and forth action. But the Colorado Avalanche end up on top. Now, I wouldn't lie to you here. I'm a little bit disappointed. We didn't get to see the OT goal. We didn't get to touch the ice in OT. We wanted to be the hero. And instead, we're sitting in the box watching. But you know, Rusty had an impact this game. The slap shot. The hit. He made a difference. He made the plays when we needed him most. That's all you can ask for from Rusty. Aww. Look at the smile on Rusty's face. <laughs> this guy is buzzing. As we take the game, three to two. A big game, a fun one, and a huge win for the boys. Let's go. We lost the fight, but we won the war. The bat. Eh, you know, we didn't win the war. We won the battle. All right, we still got a war to go to. A B overall for Rostislav Nastrov. Again, not our best performance. We did have seven shots. And I mean, we have to give credit where credit is due. Hellebuck absolutely robbed me. I'm talking like two shots off the knob of the stick. Some diving splits, desperation saves. And look at Rusty. Hold on a second here. Rusty starting to grow the playoff beard a little bit obviously you don't get to grow too much of the beard when you're when you're winning the series four to zero so we still got some work to do but the beard's starting to come in for young rostislav nasharov taking a look at the bracket here this is what went down we of course snuck by with the one zero win calgary with the 1-0 over edmonton we have ottawa up 1-0 and toronto up 1-0 
In terms of the individual stats, here are the league leaders. Huberto is still there on Florida. He's got 10 points. Austin Matthews with 10, 9 with McDavid. That's expected. Barkov's buzzing. Dry Settle's buzzing. Holy. I guess you do have to take into account that Rostislav Nashrov only got to play four games in the first series. So it does make sense that we're down here a little bit further. We've got seven points there in five games played. And honestly, not a lot of action going on with the Avs. McKinnon's up here. But other than that, uh, yeah, the the boys the boys could use some more work so we start 1-0 over the winnipeg jets obviously not our best performance and we do expect bigger things from rusty in game number two but obviously still opportunity for another hot start if we can go 2-0 over winnipeg at ball arena then head to winnipeg and catch a dub we'll be in a great spot to take the second round of the stanley cup playoff so game number two everything on the line hoping for some better results from ourselves. let's see what goes down okay game number one i mean we couldn't have asked for a, for a better game than what we had back and forth action obviously i mean you could ask for a better game by having rusty out there in ot but it is what it is all right we took the big hit our discipline is still you know not exactly where we would like it to be and we were forced to drop the gloves there with morrissey i'm telling you right now i'm not dropping the gloves with any of these clowns again all right that is my one fight of the entire series we need rusty out on the ice and we need it bad okay good defensive battle here boys klingberg Dude, I'm telling you what, I'll let you dump the puck, but you are going to pay the price every single time. Klingberg has getting... Okay, Klingberg's a little angry. Oh! Oh, good little toey there. That's on Morrissey as well. I'm I'm still mad at Morrissey for making me drop the gloves in the last game. We will not forget that. Go ahead and pass it to Morrissey, Malkin. Do it. Klingberg? <laughs> Dude, Klingberg is not good. There is no shot that this guy is going to survive the game with the hit that he's been taking. We got Johnny Hockey. Dude, you have got to be kidding me. I mean, maybe I'm running around with a, like a chicken with my head cut off a little too much. Trying to take Johnny Hockey out. Trying to take Klingberg out. We're getting everybody out of the play. But a goal still happens as it's going down. I got a bad feeling we're getting short shifted this game. I don't know why. Ah, you know what? Eight minutes left. Better than the last game. Let's get a goal here. Okay, let's go here, Mac. Yep. Good look there, Russ. We still need our first power play goal against these boys. A little toey. <gasps> yep. Oh, I tried to find Rant. That's actually a really good look. We're just going to take it to the net. He's giving me space. That might be the strangest shot I've ever seen in this game. Rusty, what in the world was that? A backhanded no-look 360 spinner. I have no clue what that was. Kale, nice hit. Okay, we're going to have one more quick rush here, and then we are going to be getting off the ice again. Playing smart here. No penalties, no injuries. Rantanen. Yep, yep. Boom. What a play from the boys. That is that is one of the best team goals that I have ever seen from the Colorado Avalanche. Bop, 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 bang. Not, not just a bop, bop, bang. A bop, 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 bang. Four passes in a row. Clean. And Devontae steps up from the point to find the backdoor feed. Way to be, Devontae. We can't score goals, but we are certainly going to be setting them up. Hooky. Smitty. Devontae's Gerard. An interesting power play lineup, certainly. But let's see what we can do. I'm not going to force that back door. I wanted to, but we're just going to do the low shot instead. Again, no no dumb passes. I mean, I know when the pass is there, I'll make it. But that one would have been a crazy force. Give me that puck. We're going for a Mishy. <laughs> okay, if we hit the, <gasps> the Mishy with 20 overall or whatever, that'd be insane. Three, two. That was a little scary, but Varley comes in with the save. And we get to the first intermission. Okay, no more messing around here, boys. No more going for Michigans. Nothing dumb. Let's just play lockdown D. This is not good. This is not good. Oh, what was that, dude? That was nasty. Oh, dude, I thought our tic-tac-toe was nice. That, that was like a tic-tac-toe with like two toe drags in the mid. That was nasty. Dude, I could see that coming from a mile away, though. They just had a look in their eyes that a goal was... Oh, no. Okay, it's starting to, starting to look a little ugly. Starting to look a little ugly here, boys. Holy. Like, I, I don't even know what to do. The puck is just going boom. Like, I'm trying to keep up with it. I'm trying to make plays on the guys that do have the puck. But there is not much we can do about those two goals. That, that, I mean, this is just straight up trouble. The Winnipeg Jets are starting to figure it out, man. This is the Winnipeg Jets that we saw at the end of the regular season. I tell you what, man. This team's a, a team to be reckoned with. Okay. Well, let's we'll see if we can get back into this game. I mean, this is, of course, partially... It's Morrissey again, dude. I'm not letting him take down McKinnon. All right, let's, we're done messing around here, Morrissey. I'm going to get you in a headlock, buddy. Yep, bop. Headlock. Yep, yep. 
<laughs> Sit down, Morrissey. We got revenge. I want to get him in that headlock so bad, but he's not letting the headlock happen. We hit him with the dodge a couple times, hit him with the bop counters, got him down to the ice. I know we said we're not fighting anymore, but listen, if Morrissey's going to take a run at Nathan McKinnon, I will drop the gloves all day long. I don't care if it's OT. I don't care if it's 10 seconds left in the third period. Morrissey, you're going down. And the score is now four to one. I know we try to get the boys going there with the fight. Obviously, you know, you get a little momentum. You get a little energy from the crowd. But this is getting ugly. Like, we're not just losing. We are getting just... Oh, oh, hold up. Gerard, Gerard, you better feed me, buddy. And Rusty just... I just shot the puck while falling behind the net. What is going on here? I simply don't have the speed to keep up with these guys. I mean, that was Evgeny Malkin on the back check. I just got dangled by John. Dude, this is embarrassing. I am getting embarrassed out of here every time I touch the ice. And look, Malkin just passed me in points as well. All right, I, I see you, Evgeny. I see you. You want me to go out here and score? And I will. It's time to stop the bleeding. If we get to 4-2, all of a sudden, it's kind of a game. You know what I mean? 4-1, it seems like everything's over. 4-2, all of a sudden, you're back in it. Another good low shot there from Rusty. We're getting good shots. Okay. So goals for both sides. 5-2, just as bad as 4-1. But at least we got another goal on the board. We got 25 seconds here. Hold up. One more last rush. Please do not let them score. Yep. Oh, let's go. Six seconds. Here we go. Brandon, feed me. Rusty, three, two. Try to make the pass across, dude. Those are the forces that we didn't want to have. I think maybe I could get a shot off and just and just rip it low pad. But even then, Hellebuck's probably making the save on it, man. We're doing everything we can to get this win. 5-2, though, the score. We got to have a bounce back here. First shift. Okay. If we get a goal here early again. A two-goal deficit, not insurmountable. A three-goal deficit in the playoffs looks a little ugly. Has it happened? Absolutely. But we got some work to do. Rusty, just go right to the net. Yep. Yep. Right to the net. I'm there for the rebound, but Hellebuck chomps it up, dude, every time. Okay. Malkin, take a seat. If, if this is... It's Morrissey again, dude! Oh, oh, the double helmet pop. I've never seen that happen. We're going to go for the headlock here. Try to hit him with that grab. Dodge grab. Dodge grab. Dodge grab. Yep. Boom. 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 Morrissey, I've never destroyed somebody like that. You're going to do anything, buddy. Boom. 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 Forced to drop the gloves with Morrissey again, dude. What kind of sick joke is this? Okay, our record is two and one against Morrissey. Let the record show that was another clean hit from Rostislav Nashrov. I don't know if it's our discipline or what that is forcing us into these fights, but if we're making clean hits like that, I can't be mad. Oh, Rusty! Man, we get absolutely just, just bot like uh, just, a, just a cross check to the head. I mean, I don't know how else you make that hit if it's not a cross check to the head. Rusty with a, Rusty with a heavy four check. Hell of a throwing the puck out. Okay. Nice, nice poke, Rust. We're doing what we can out here, but holy, somebody's got to get something going. Hey, we have to get off the ice. This game might just be, might be lost. I'm going to be honest. 5-2. We didn't get a goal out there. Didn't change the tides. It's looking, looking grim. And the final score of this one, 6-2 to two and the thing is we not only lost that game that was an absolutely embarrassing performance Rostislav Nashrov with no goals in the first two games versus the Winnipeg Jets not only that they're scoring the most disgusting goals that I have ever seen in this game that tic-tac-toe is going to haunt me in my nightmares tonight as they toe drag around one pass it toe drag around another pass it bang goal like an insane sequence of events and the turning point in that game as well so the series is tied at one we knew this was not going to be a repeat of what we had versus the la kings no sweep here we do lose one in our own barn as well which means we got to win one over in their barn so there we have it tough loss boys enter the locker room some sad faces as we walk in now for myself i really don't think we played a terrible game obviously we were out there for some of the nastiest goals we've ever seen we had a lot of good opportunities but this series is going to come down to hellebuck if he's able to keep up the play that we just saw in that game we have no chance but if the floodgates start to open up we get a couple quick ones that's when things can turn around and look at what we have over here on the bracket battle of alberta is 1-1 of course our series at 1-1 we got the jackets in ottawa at 1-1 and toronto with a 2-0 lead over florida is this the year that toronto actually does something in the stanley cup playoffs probably not but 
we will see a disappointing end to today's video but we know what we're up against it is me versus josh morrissey we had drew dowdy as our rival in the last series and we easily took him down morrissey a bit of a different beast and no matter what happens here this is going to be a very entertaining series here versus the jets if you guys are enjoying be a pro with rostislav nashrov in the stanley cup playoffs you know what to do hit the video with a like to let me know hit that subscribe button we're on the road to one milli and much more content on the way soon next episode game number three and game number four go down and we look to turn the tides i'm nasher i'm out of here and peace